Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of very good observations from 250 miles above the Earth from the International Space Station. We're looking at a still image of a video sent in by Mary. You can see what looks like an object right here. It's going to be moving towards us when we check out the video here in just a second. Also notice the two stripes in the background. That's looking down at the Earth from 250 miles in the sky. Almost looks like Earth has stripes in this video. Very, very unique. Also have another video sent in by Francis of a very obvious unidentified flying object. There's no other way to describe it. It's tumbling through the sky underneath the International Space Station as they're performing a docking maneuver. Very good video clip there. Also have a new picture slideshow I put together of some awesome photos you guys have sent in recently. And I'm working on many, many more. But we're going to start with the video sent in by Mary. I'm just simply titling it A Ship Above the Earth. Looks like it's leaving the Earth's atmosphere and it's noticeable from the space station. This was taken back in January of 2020, just a few weeks ago. Here's the still image I just shared with you. Notice the two stripes. They look very uniform. And then there's the object, and here it is coming towards us. And let me explain what we're looking at here. I zoomed in, and what I'm doing in the first half of this little video clip is I'm pulling away from the object to kind of give perspective of where we're at and where the object is, is going. And then I'm going to zoom in really, really close and put it in slow motion. So there's the object, whatever it may be. Looks like it's one craft, two lights attached to one object. When we go in really close, you'll see movement in between the two primary primary lights, maybe there's secondary lights in the middle. It's difficult to tell because it's quite a ways away, which would imply that whatever that was, was pretty good size. Don't know the exact dimensions, but I would say at least 500 feet or so. We're going to zoom in now and go into slow motion. Notice in the center of these lights, you're going to see a little bit of movement every once in a while, like there's some secondary lights in there. They're kind of difficult to see, but it does look like they are there. These are very bright. And see how they look like they're part of one object? They're moving in perfect unison like they're attached to something bigger, you know. Pretty cool. Never seen anything quite like that. Did you see that right there in, in between the two lights? Look like a secondary light. Pretty good size, whatever it is or was. Again, this was taken back in uh, January of 2020, just a few weeks ago. And then it exits out of the field of view. And then what I do is pull back out, and you're looking back down at the Earth again. And there's those large blue stripes that uh, make Earth look like it has rings, kind of like the rings of, of Saturn or something, but we have rings on the Earth. And those are very uniform. Once again, they don't look like random clouds. And then I just simply pull away from the object, kind of where we started, and there it is, whatever it may be. But good observations sent in by, by Mary. And again, that was noticed back in January of 2020. This one is from March, just a few days ago. Video sent in by Francis. And you're going to see an object come through really fast from left to right. Then I'm going to slow it down, and we're going to go in really, really close. And what's going on here is a docking maneuver. This craft here is going to dock with the space station down here. And as it's approaching, you're going to see an object go very quickly across the screen. I'll slow down and zoom in really close. And you can see, do you see it go right there? Looks like it's tumbling, and it appears to be white. Doesn't look like a light or two lights. It's just a, a solid white object. See it right there? And it looks like it's kind of rotating. It, it reminds me of that Tic Tac right there especially. I'm going to go in and actually stop pretty much on top of it as it's going underneath the space station. That's the space station right there. Here we go again as it's moving from left to right. And I slow it down even slower as this thing was going at an incredible speed. See it right there? kind of reminds me of that Tic Tac rotating from side to side. Maybe it's a, a large piece of space debris. Maybe it's a satellite. Um, it's very close to the space station, whatever it was. Let me pause it right there. See what I mean? The tic-tac shape, very difficult to tell here because it was going at such a high rate of speed. And it's difficult to tell even how close it was. But moving very quickly, that's all we know. And in the literal sense of the word, that was an unidentified flying object. There's no other way to describe it. You don't know what it is. And it's moving through space. And this was as they were performing a docking maneuver. There it is up close. 
there's that tic tac shape once again i just put it in like half a second uh frame by frame so good observation by francis once again that's up above the space station as they were doing a docking maneuver. Here's some new sky phenomena photos that have been sent in here recently. Mark from Omaha, Nebraska. Looks like a ship moving through the sky, visible from down on the ground. How about that? Great photograph out of Omaha. Photo here sent in by Nathal from the Afton Mountains in Virginia. This uh, big impressive cloud structure was not only noticed in Virginia, but you're going to see another picture of this same cloud structure out of Kentucky. And I think it had to have been from the same day. Two different people here from Red out of Ashland, Kentucky. See how it's got the same long trails coming out of it. And there's the body of the cloud there that looks like a big roll cloud or a shelf cloud. And it's got those giant fingers coming off of it. Just an amazing cloud structure that probably extended for a few hundred miles. And there you can see what's left of it as it was dissipating. Ryan from Amsterdam. About as orange of a sky as you can possibly get. Almost a pastel color. Just incredible. Scott and Jennifer noticed some colorful clouds around the sun. And then inside the cloud, tucked in right there, almost looks like some sort of a ship with blue lights. And then here from Fresno, California, Stacy. Notice what looks like a big colorful triangle in the sky. Stacy from South Louisiana. Big halo around the sun. Very intense halo from Southern Louisiana. Look at that. This was sent in by Tara T on a webcam from Northwest Florida. And Tara's from Mississippi and she noticed what looks like some sort of an unusual craft that was spotted on this webcam. And it doesn't look like a, a helicopter, any type of conventional airplane, big or little. It's got some unique lights on it. it appears to be a, a beam of light coming out to the left. And it was in one frame on that webcam from Northwest Florida. Sunset by Philly B777. Big Island, Hawaii, Rob and Kara. Spaceship looking clouds above the mountains there. I think those are called lenticulars. They look like disks stacked on top of one another. Ireland, W. McKee Plumbing, look at that. Big beams coming up over the horizon. Mike T. from right out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Big halo around the sun with a sun dog off to the right. Clem T. from Sunset Beach. Gigantic orange cloud at sunset. Colorado, Andrew. Notice what looks like some sort of a triangle setting up there in the sky. Harbin Hot Spring, North Carolina. Banyan T. Some colorful clouds in the sky with some very unique friends over here off to the left. Don't even know how to describe those things. They look like tubes in the sky. Just an amazing photograph here sent in from North Carolina. Canary Islands, Giovanna. Awesome double-decker rainbow. Almost looks like you could reach out and touch that. Once again, from the Canary Islands. Oceanside, California, J.F. Thompson stopped his golf game to take a photo of this incredible double-decker rainbow right by his golf clubs. Look at that. That one he could literally walked over to. Just amazing. Jenny R. Looks like some sort of a, a rod in the sky or, or something, some sort of a structure. Texas Radar, Larry J. Noticed some unusual signatures on the radar a few days ago in the central Texas area. Semaran, New Mexico. Photo by R.G. Hickman, sent in by Lee Sieglitz. And they call that the Land of Enchantment. Look at that. Incredible photograph. Nathan out of Washington, purple and pink sky. In fact, that's about as pink as you can possibly get. Lydia out of West Cape, South Africa. Very ominous looking sky there. And this one here looks like there's a white triangle light up in the sky above those thin clouds. Pretty obvious to me. I mean, that's what it looks like. Here's a darker looking triangle noticed by Mark out of Kansas up by the sun. There's a, a bigger version maybe of the same cloud or same object that was in the sky. And then he took this photograph here, which is just simply incredible. They make paintings after, after photographs like this. The sky is reflecting perfectly off of that body of water, that lake or pond right there. Perfect mirror image. Awesome photograph. And here we've got a very unique set of airplanes flying through the sky. Don't see those very often, do you? Look at that. Photo sent in by 
Nathan. If you guys are new to the YouTube channel, make sure you go over and subscribe. Turn on the notifications bell right there. Just simply click on it once. When you see the bell activate, that means you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you're a current subscriber, go over and double check and make sure you're still subscribed. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I use the photos in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.